Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see about the Cassandra. So we'll see that what is Cassandra, what are the functionalities of it and how it is different from other databases. So first of all, uh, this is inspired by the Amazon Dynamo and Google Bigtable. Now this is NoSQL database, right? So basically you can have uh, different schemas as per your product. Now this is wide column. So wide column databases are generally used for storing the big data. So like HBase is also wide data, a wide column and similarly you have the Cassandra is also wide column. So in wide column databases, generally you store the column families. You have the column families. So let's say if you have address, so address can address can have this uh, one column family which have the different columns like which can have the street number, house number, your pin code, your street number, right? So these are the wide column as well as you could see the other uh, tutorial where we have explained that what is column oriented databases. So now as this is wide column, so it is de designed to handle the large amount of data across many commodity servers, right? Uh, which provides a high availability with no s single point of failure, right? So this is the beauty of Cassandra that it can handle or it can, it can have on many regions, right? So like HBase. So generally we install HBase on a single location, but Cassandra, Cassandra can be on many distributed server across the regions and without any failure, right? Now it offers the support of clusters spanning multiple data centers with asynchronous masterclass application allowing low latency operation for all clients. Now first of all, like I explained that it can, it can span, it can put on multiple data centers with asynchronous masterless replication. So masterless replication means in Cassandra there is no master or oh, there is no others, right? Like in HBase, we have a master, we have a leader, and then we have the other servers. But in Cassandra, each node has has master, or you can say there is no master concept, right? So that is why each node is capable of handling the data, right? Now, uh, Cassandra is always up, always on, and delivers very consistent. So that's true. Cassandra is very, very good in handling the uh, big data, ap big data applications, and it's very good. Now it provides the massive scalability which is spread across the nodes in more than one data centers for high availability. So that's right that whenever you have the, uh, if you have the application where it is needed to be put in different region, then Cassandra is the best place. Cassandra is the best database. Now you could also see some of the definitions of the Cassandra from Apache side. So like you could see here that this is fault tolerant. So data is automatically replicated to multiple nodes for fault tolerance. So generally data is replicated. So what we do, let's say if we have the replication factor three, it means that rather than putting the one data or the complete data on a one server, we store on three servers, right? So one can be on the same rake and other can be on different rake or different region. So due to of, even if something fails, if someone server fails, so we have the other two servers, right? Now it is performant, like we explained that it is very good. Then it is decentralized. So decentralized means there is no master, right? Now it is very scalable. So you could see here that it has explained through the examples that now uh, some of the largest production deployment include apples with over 75,000 nodes storing over 10 pentabyte of data, right? Now it's a durable uh, and uh, you are in control. This is very elastic then read and write throughput both increase linearly as new machines are added so with no down downtime and interruption to the applications right so that's all guys about the cassandra we have seen that why we use the cassandra and how cassandra is able to handle the big data right so choose cassandra whenever you are handling the big data and whenever you are uh, whenever your data is across the region then you can you can surely put the cassandra so thanks and if you think that there is a good database which is uh, better than the Cassandra for handling the big data then please write in the comment section and I will check that. Thanks guys and if you like the video please like it and subscribe the channel. Thank you.